With just over two weeks, three weeks rather, to go before the U.S. Senate general election, the two candidates on the ballot face off for their final debate. Yeah, Arlene Rojas Castillo joins us live from Marquette University's Varsity Theater, where the debate took place last night with some key takeaways from the discussion. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning, Tom and Andrea. Those two candidates that you mentioned, Democratic Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes and Republican incumbent Senator Ron Johnson, appeared on this stage ahead of the November 8th election and answered questions on topics ranging from inflation and Social Security, as well as their positions on national abortion policy. When it comes to inflation, which according to the latest Marquette University poll, is the number one topic voters are thinking about as they head to the ballot box. Both candidates talked about the need to reevaluate the way the country looks at its resources, with Johnson focusing on deficit spending and Barnes pushing for a new approach to the state's tax breakdown. The solution is stop the deficit spending, stop growing our debt. But understand that every, a dollar you held at the start of the Biden administration is now worth only 88.3 cents. It's crushing everyone, but it's particularly crushing seniors on a fixed income. We need to give working class families some relief with a middle class tax cut. We need to make the child tax credit permanent. We got to stop giving tax deductions and tax breaks for the wealthiest people. Social Security was another big issue on the agenda, with statistics showing nearly one in five Wisconsinites are on the federal program. Johnson stood by his previous campaign message of no longer guaranteeing Social Security or Medicare funding, but instead have it be on par with other government programs. I never said I wanted to cut or put Social Security on a chopping block. What I said is we have to look at all of government spending and start prioritizing. Social Security, Medicare, defense spending would be at the top of priority. When Senator Johnson talks about making Social Security discretionary spending, that means he's coming for your retirement. On the issue of abortion and family planning, Barnes and Johnson shared their thoughts on the changes that they would like to see on a national level, with Johnson offering an option that he believes would appeal to many people in our state. This wasn't solved 50 years ago. This has been a divisive issue for 50 years. I proposed a one-time single-issue referendum to decide at what point does society have the responsibility to protect life, balancing the rights of a mother with the rights of an unborn child. When it comes to the topic of abortion, which is an issue that should be left between a woman and her doctor, Senator Johnson cites his personal beliefs. And I respect everyone's personal beliefs. I just don't think that everyone's personal beliefs should be the law for everyone. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll go through some of the other issues the candidates faced, including immigration and where they stand on gun violence and police reform here in Wisconsin. Reporting live at Marquette's Varsity Theater, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News.